I just think that you are incredibly brave Thank to you, do sir. to do what you've been doing. I'm very happy for you. You're incredibly brave. Um, and and I, I know from my experience, um, prosecuting sexual assault cases and, and working on the front lines of sexual harassment, that it sticks with, with women. It, it, uh, it, it, it sticks. It's How demoralizing and there's a certain amount of shame that comes with yeah. it. I just want to say that I have heard from thousands of women mm -hmm. across this country and it affects you in every walk of life. It's not just media. I mean, I'm talking about members of our military yeah. and police officers and firefighters mm -hmm. and Wall Street bankers and oil rig operators and teachers. So this is an issue that remains pervasive in our culture. What happened to me when I was a teacher? Yeah. Oh, it did I mean, happen. Oh, yeah. Every yeah. woman oh, yeah. has a story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I that is one. how I wake up every morning now thinking, every woman has a story. And if I can help just one of them or yeah. a dozen of them feel the confidence yeah. to stand up and speak up for themselves. When, I was, when I was harassed as a teacher, though, it was way before, you know, Roe v. Wade. It was before everything, you know, that we have now. Any yeah. kind of, but, you know, so I would like to know from you ladies, like, if, let's say you're in a beauty parlor, you're a hair, hair person, uh, a stylist, and some, somebody harasses you, and you don't have the ability to, you're not a lawyer, you're not a media person you don't you know what do you, how do you handle it in the moment I mean I would push I'm a Brooklyn girl as you know so yeah. I would push back immediately and then go get myself a lawyer and hold them accountable um, what would you say in the pushback how do you do it it depends what they do. I mean, if they say something to me, I would yeah. think you better watch your mouth, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some. What are you gonna do, more... Jed? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it depends what they do. What, or what, what they if they say. were your boss? What if it's your Too boss? Too bad. You know, you have to. That's one thing that I have to say about this story. We we both worked at Fox News together, and I don't know if people realize how brave it was. The, the Fox News PR team is pretty intense, and I know that you had to know that going in that you were gonna get pushback. And I saw a lot of women you know, give you pushback. I saw fans give you pushback. I saw people who wanted to protect that brand give you pushback. And even though I didn't have that experience with Roger, I was out there saying, don't judge somebody. Because if this happened to her and she's brave enough, enough to come out and speak, she's going against a whole team of people that are out to protect a brand or protect a person. And you have to empower people. So whether you're an anchor or whether you're a hairdresser or whoever you are, if you're out there and someone is mistreating you, speak up, speak I up your mind. I understand what, what you're say. saying. But I don't care if it's your you're going to lose your job. You know what? Yeah, that's talk that's to other it's women. Yeah. It's Stand difficult, together. Though. It it's is very hard. It's difficult for women to come forward, which is why I said you were so very brave, because you don't want to lose your job. And so a lot of women are, are willing uh, because they, not willing, but they have to sort of play nice. They do. And also you feel if you're a type A personality and you're used to achieving that you can change the situation. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. keep fighting it harder, right? Mm -hmm. and, and somebody very well known said that, well, this doesn't happen to strong women. Well, guess what? I'm a oh, strong woman. Yeah. And, so you know, it Anita happened. Hill. Anita Hill was a very no, strong happened. woman. Look at the way she handled Clarence Thomas's situation. She was a strong woman and a lawyer. We, but and she still have, we should say, though, that say Roger Ailes has denied all of these allegations, although um, you, you, your story is, is 